Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a re review for MovieZing.com. Uh, they sent me a couple of titles over uh, of the horror genre, if you will. Now let's get started on what the first one I'll start off with here. It's a movie starring uh, Megan Fox. Uh, you've probably heard about this, or, you know, around YouTube and internet. Uh, it's called Sub Suburbiance. Uh, very adult, like version of like Megan that's the vibe I got with this cover I was very intrigued when I watched this I watched this on a I believe it was a streaming service but I I, I, I can't think you know obviously it's on a streaming service but I, I wasn't sure what one it was but uh, basically it's a lady named Alice played by Megan Fox so she's a robotic uh, synthetic kind of uh, very much like in the Megan vein uh, she uh, is a lifelike android, and she is purchased by a struggling father. She suddenly becomes self-aware and wants everything her new family has to offer, starting with the affection of the owner, and she will she she will kill to get it. Um, right off the bat here, uh, the clock's in at 105 minutes, and it's from XYZ Films, along with Millennium Media and Decal Releasing. Uh, had fun with this one. I, I really, I don't understand, like, people will say stuff about Megan Fox, like she's, I mean, I know a lot of things, probably, she probably gets parts because of her looks and whatnot, but I feel like she gets a lot of disdain, un, unwarranted hate, just because, uh, you know, she, I don't know, I just feel like horror films are, you know, of her, you know, of her, the way she does, does these horror films, I don't think she thinks less of the genre, and I respect her for that, and I know a lot of people out there probably, well, it's because, you know, she's a nice looking girl, or whatever, but that's, that's not what I get, you know, I, I believe she puts a lot of effort into her role, and I really recommend this one, uh, I, I, I would say it's probably, an unofficial, kind of feels like an unofficial sequel to Megan as well. But yeah, uh, I was glad they sent this one over to me to review. Uh, very fast-paced film. Uh, aspect ratio is 235 by 1. And uh, that's pretty much it on it. Uh, it is directed by S.K. Dale. Uh, maybe some of you out there tonight will, will know uh, that director, but... Thank you, Movie Zing, for sending that over to look uh, to review for you guys. But what I was trying to more or less say about, you know, it just feels like sometimes Megan Fox gets a lot of hate because, you know, she is the all-American girl. And I think people don't think, you know, she can pull off the horror genre stuff. And when she's in Jennifer's Body, I mean, that was a good movie, I thought. I know a lot of people hate that one, but. Yeah, I I don't know. I had fun with it. So I recommend you check that one out on uh, streaming services. Uh, buy it at your you know eBay, Amazon, or um, pick it up at MovieZing.com. But uh, that's my review for that one. And then another one here. It's in the, in the vein of um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it's two being compared to 2001 Maniacs. Wrong Turn and Hostel, uh, and it's the film from uh, 2024. For the first time on, um, I believe Blu-ray. I don't. I think it might have had a DVD release. Talks in at 98 minutes, and it's the movie uh, Inbred. Watched this one last night on Tubi. I really, wa I was expecting it to be a lackluster film, just because how many films do you know uh, kind of compare? Uh, themselves to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I don't know. This didn't this didn't uh, disappoint. Uh, it says it's, it's the best British horror in years. Makes the Texas Chainsaw. Oh man, I don't know if they knew it or not, but they messed up on the cover. It's supposed to say Texas, and it says Tex A. You know, leaving the S off. Uh, Look like a picnic. Scream, scream the horror magazine. Uh, and this is uh. They came in peace, peace, and they left in pieces. Uh, 
filmchecker.de says it's a bloody masterpiece hostile and wrong turn meet 20 2001 maniacs from film checker as well and when other horror film wimps turn to the camera away inbred zooms in, in, in even closer and that's from movie reporter.de uh, and it says it's a region too i don't know if that's true or not but uh it's a 16 by 9 uh, ra aspect ratio but uh, but let's read the plot here. Uh, English cult director Alex Chandon, who did Cradle of Fear, maybe some of you out there tonight will know what I'm talking about, delivers a true genre a hit with Inbred, where no prisoners are taken, featuring uh, explicit gore scenes, gallons of blood, and the darkest black humor. Inbred proves to be a cult of a special class that will soon be mentioned in the same breath as films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Hostel, like I said, 2001 Maniacs, and Wrong Turn. Inbred is, is horror in a new dimension, wild, brutal, and simply in a class of its own. Ra um, rating especially bloody for young, for young, for young offenders and their care, care workers visit the remote Yorkshire Village. I'm sure you guys out there in the over in the UK know exactly what kind of village Yorkshire is. Uh, Mort Lake, which prides on, prides on keeping itself, itself to itself. A minor incident with locals rapidly escalates into a blood-soaked, deliriously warped nightmare. Really good effects in this as well. Really was not expecting much. And there's currently two different uh poster uh art covers you know for i guess it's the same movie on tubi but i don't know i don't know if there's a difference but i i noticed that last night uh but basically they what happens is a lot of um you know like people like tourists people come to their neck of the woods and they own this bar and it's kind of like it looks like it's you know Kind of like not really a cover up for what's going on. Like they, uh, it's about this. I believe it's these two teachers, if I remember correctly, and then they are taking these kids to this area, and then they kind of stumble into the local bar or eatery or whatever you want to call it. Pretty much, kind of felt like the slaughtered lamb a little bit uh, in uh, American Werewolf in London. And basically, what happens is. I guess over time they've killed people and what they do is they kind of put on like a kind of like a um, kind of like a well, under the big top kind of thing but only instead of it having um, stuff like um, you know like uh, trapeze artist and whatnot more or less it's just they they come there and then they like kind of do these they tie the people down and like kind of slowly torture them like there's a scene where they have this horse and this guy's on the ground and he's like tied to the ground and the horse keeps stepping over him and i know it's pretty brutal some parts i mean it's pretty tough watch for some people i'm sure but yeah again i had fun with this i don't know which one i like better i mean i like this one for the brutality but i like sub subservience because it felt like megan to me and if I, you know anybody out there tonight likes megan I'm sure it'd be right up the rally. But, uh, yeah, those are the two they sent over to me. I'd like to thank them, and as well as uh, Leo Mark uh, Studios and Black Man Mandala, and, and of course, uh, Movie Zing. Thank you for sending those over. Pretty brief video to, this week, but two. Uh, Two uh, horror films I couldn't pass up on. One one sat in a sci-fi vein, but <coughs> horror nonetheless. But that's my review. I like to thank everybody that watches the channel, supports the channel, and uh, anybody out there interested in movie zing, check them out and tell your friends about Gary's Movie Crypt and uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back next week. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to be back with a with a review because uh, I don't know if movie Zing will be able to get I've got upcoming I've got uh, Las Vegas the complete series on blu-ray coming from them uh, but I you can't ever tell especially with the 
postal service being really uh, late to the game uh, on sending stuff as of late because of the you know the the way the budget budgetary things that are going on with the post office but uh yeah thank you and uh have a good night bye